the Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a winter weather alert. Well, it might not seem like it, but it is going to be a major change across the area as we take a look at Storm Track Live. This is going to be the calmest and the warmest that we're going to be in quite some time. We have eyes across West Michigan as we wait for the impact of this storm. Elena is in Grand Rapids for us this morning as we all brace for snowfall across the area. But we start here in the tracking center. We have two meteorologists in this morning watching this one move closer to us here at home. Tom is also here checking both our roads and airports. Let's start with Matt. And Matt, what should we know right now is some of us are preparing to head into the office today. Yeah, this is going to be the quietest part of the day. That's what you should know when things are going to deteriorate right on through the rest of the day. I think the heart of the heaviest snow is going to be about mid-afternoon and thereafter right on through the evening hours with a steady intensification, not only with the snow, but also with the wind. So it's just going to go downhill today. Again, this is going to be the best part of the day. Maybe you can just take, it's Friday, take a half day, okay? Uh, tell them that Matt Kirkwood said you could do so. Anyway, you can see off to the south and west, we have snow out there. And if you look closely at Peoria, there's a lightning bolt. There's actually a little bit of thunder snow out there. Without a doubt, that tells you that there's some heavy snow heading in our direction. And right now, this is all loft on Storm Track Live radar, with the exception right around Benton Harbor. You can see visibility down around seven miles in Benton Harbor. Just a few flurries there, 10 miles, Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids, and along the lakeshore. Uh, Kalamazoo, right now, great visibility. That is certainly going to look a whole lot different as we make our way towards the afternoon hours and live shot in uh, Grand Rapids. I think at times you won't even be able to see downtown Grand Rapids later on today. Temperature wise, again, right around 29 in Grand Rapids, 32 in uh, Kalamazoo, 33 in Muskegon. This will be the warmest morning that we have for the rest of, I would say, at least this upcoming week, easily. Wind chill temperature hovering right around 20 degrees. Hourly planner, you can see I have the icons progressively getting snowier throughout the day. Notice this wind. This is a steady wind, not gusts, steady wind. We'll have some wind gusts over 40 miles an hour as the snow comes in. This, that's going to just add on to the challenge of any kind of travel out there, which is not recommended. And because of all the combination of the wind, snow, and also the he cold heading our way and the blowing snow, Snow. We have a winter storm warning that begins at 10 o'clock this morning until 7 p.m. on Saturday. Yes, this is not a misprint. 10 to 14 inches of snow by the time uh, we get to late Saturday. We won't be done after that. More on that forecast later. But Sarah, what are some of the uh, specifics that we really have to key in on with the storm system? Right, the good news is it's calm out there this morning. Yeah. The grocery store is probably still busy like they were yesterday, but you're in the clear for the next couple of hours. That is the theme of this morning. That snow will begin after our daybreak show wraps up. A few flakes towards the lakeshore around 8 or 9 a.m., but not a whole lot accumulating. Pretty moderate travel there. As we head into the afternoon and evening, though, it becomes windy. Heavy snow arrives, and that'll be the situation as we head into Saturday morning as well, except add in those winds, some blowing snow and some lighter and fluffier, fluffier snow uh, will make travel pretty difficult and also we'll see a pretty significant drop in visibility there. So your commute this morning, not a huge concern. Dry and quiet this evening, of course. Uh, leave early if you have to head to work today. I'd say around 2 or 3 o'clock is when things start to take a little bit of a dive. By 4 and 5, it's going to be pretty hard to get home. Snow rates at about 1 to 2 inches per hour. With those winds, top wind gusts today will be at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. We'll see a little bit of a lull overnight as that low pressure pressure system passes overhead and then we'll actually see them pick up to a greater speed behind this system. Top wind gusts at about 45 to even up to 50 mile per hour gusts towards the lakeshore. This is where we could actually reach that blizzard criteria, which by the way, no blizzard warning for us. We'll keep an eye on if we get upgraded, but in order to do that, we'll have to have sustained winds at 35 miles per hour or greater visibility at a quarter of a mile or less and this uh, and falling and blowing snow, of course, and all of this has to happen for three hours or more. So that's where I think the weather service is a little bit concerned that we won't be there for three hours or more, but we'll get pretty close. Again, Matt will have a closer look at how much snow we're tracking in just a few minutes. For now, Tom, give us some good news about that commute right <laughs> yeah, now. I have the good news today, and that is if you are making your drive into work this morning, things are great. We have clear and dry conditions, probably one of the best uh, morning commutes that we will have for the week. However, as Sarah and Matt have said, as we move throughout late this morning into this afternoon and then into the evening, roads will just become terrible and uh, just be a very difficult evening and mid-afternoon commute. So uh, one of those days, if you can work a half day, if you can work from home, great options for you. I-94, US 131 in Kalamazoo County right now looking fine, no problems there. That is the case along the lakeshore as well. Eastbound and westbound I-196 throughout Holland and Z 
Zeeland and US 31 northbound and southbound all remaining crash free for us. I'll have another traffic update for you in about 15 minutes. Brittany.